Hello, we're Biscuiteers, the original hand iced biscuit company, and we've created this video to give you all the tips and tricks you'll need to become a biscuiteer yourself. In this masterclass, we'll be showing you how to make a spooktacular chocolate biscuit haunted house. All you'll need to follow along is our DIY haunted house kit. Inside the tin, you will find all the equipment needed to create your haunted house. You will have some instructions, the chocolate biscuits, sprinkles, icing sugar and piping bags. First, we need to make our icing. Getting the right consistency is the key to success for icing biscuits. So firstly, put the icing sugar in a bowl and stir in just a couple of spoonfuls of water. Careful not to add too much water. We want the icing to be quite thick. We're looking to have the consistency of toothpaste. It should stay on the spoon when you hold it up. When you're happy with the consistency, open your icing bag and fold the bag down over a large jar and spoon in the mixture. Be careful not to overfill it as it will be hard to close. We recommend no more than up to two tablespoons per bag. Push your icing to the bottom to get rid of any air bubbles and tie it up. The piping bag has a seam edge which can get in the way a little bit when icing, so we always recommend trimming this off so that it doesn't get in the way of your piping. Careful not to cut your bag though. A nice pair of sharp scissors will do the trick. Next, trim a small amount off the tip. Start with just a little snip. Remember you can always cut more later. You might want to make a few bags with different thicknesses for your design. Test you've got your desired thickness by squeezing the bag between your fingers. When piping, make sure to clean your bag using the same action so that you have nice clean lines. Have a little practice before you start icing to get the hang of it. We recommend thinking of the icing bag like a pen. We twist it about halfway down and squeeze just the bottom section. This gives you more control over the icing and helps you get a good finish to your lines. You are now ready to decorate. Let's get started. Take the two house-shaped biscuits and start decorating those first. We've iced windows and added spooky ghosts and railings on ours, but you could add things like skeletons, creepy plants growing up the sides, giant spiders, anything you like. Remember, it's a haunted house, so if you mess anything up, just go with the flow. Nothing has to be perfect. We recommend just taking it nice and slowly. When adding your sprinkles, remember that they will stick to anything that's wet, so have a think about how you'd like to use them. You might want to wait for some parts to dry before adding them so that they don't stick to everything. We recommend about five minutes for your line icing to harden. Next, ice the sides of the house. These are the smaller of the two rectangle sizes in the tin. Once again, we added all manner of spooky things, but you can choose whatever you like. Remember, this is only an example. Don't forget to clean your piping bag as you go for those nice clean lines. 
If part of a design is feeling tricky, you can always practice on a piece of baking parchment beforehand, just so you can get it right. Why not stick a spooky film on whilst you do this, so you can really get into it and let your inner witch come out? Now it's time for the roof panels. You can do whatever design you like here, we opted for scallops. Take each panel and pipe on the details. We always recommend icing the roof panels before you assemble the house, as they can be quite difficult to ice onto when they're high up and positioned at an angle. Again, think about where you want your sprinkles to go. Leave all your biscuits to dry for 15 minutes before starting to assemble the house. Now it's construction time. It's much easier to build the house if it's stuck down at the base. We would suggest that you stick it to something like a cake board, a cake stand, or a chopping board. It's also a good idea to use a couple of small bowls or even mugs to help the biscuits stay in place whilst you're building, like we did here. Pipe icing along the bottom and inside edges of the house-shaped biscuit. Press it down onto the chopping board, use bowls to help sand it up whilst you quickly get your side pieces on. Ice the bottom of these and stick them onto the inside of the house shaped biscuit and stick it down onto the board. You can then ice the bottom and inside edges of the last house shaped biscuit and place it at the end. Once the icing sets, they'll be fixed firm. Pipe icing into any gaps that you've missed in between the biscuits just to make sure that it's all secure. Leave this to dry for at least 20 minutes before attaching the roof panels. Time to attach the roof. Pipe icing along the side of the end pieces. Make sure that the icing is nice and thick as the roof is the trickiest part to stick on. The bowls are handy here to support the roof biscuits as they dry. If you're on your own, it's best to stick to one side of the roof to dry first. Support it with the bowls so that it doesn't slide. Let it dry and then attach the second roof panel. Once the roof panels are dry, pipe down the centre of the roof to fill in any gaps to finish off your house. You can add some sprinkles like we did here or just leave it plain. And there you have it, one super spooky haunted house. We added some battery powered fairy lights to our house by carefully threading them through the door. But you could arrange them and then place the house carefully on top we just thought this added a little bit pizzazz and helped make it look like it was glowing from the inside. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we hope this has given you a good example on how to ice the most irresistible house. If you do make this spooky haunted house, we'd absolutely love to see. 
Simply tag us using the handle at BiscuitiersLTD or the hashtag BiscuitiersMagic. See you next time and we hope you have a spooky Halloween.